Times Chama is already in Rio and be talking to us on the you know uh, the league that is starting this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, you know, Honorable Benga Elegbele. Yeah, thanks, friends. Uh, thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm grateful. Nice talking to you guys. You know, let's start uh, by asking, despite all the setback, you know, what do you make of the league that is starting this afternoon? Sorry, it's been um, quite tough at the beginning, you know, because we have uh, we had disagreement with the club chairman regarding league formats. So um, we need to let them know that it is for the good of all for us to go a bridge because it is not... Um, in the best interest of Nigeria not to align with the international football calendar. So we resolve that, okay, the best thing we need to do is to get our league in proper shape, then let us align with the rest of the world so that we can finish in May, then start the next season in August, which we think is best for Nigeria. Every year, year in, year out, Nigeria will keep saying they want to align with the international football calendar. I don't just take a serious attempt. Just one season alone, I get it right. So that's why the IMC insists on going for a bridge league and they have the club chairman uh they finally agree with us to to, to go uh, with the way now before the league started there was problem between the imc and the, the club owners are you on the same page now with the club owners are you on the same page oh yeah sure we're on the same line uh, you can see that uh, after the meeting of thursday myself and the chairman of the club owners uh, that's uh Paris Adala, the isaac we generally address a press conference and Again, read, read that and communicate uh, in that meeting to, to the press that we have agreed to go a bridge and uh, we want Nigerians to, again, have the best uh, of our football. So we want a new beginning. We want a situation whereby our clubs will be marketable. Our league will compete with the, uh, favorably with the best in the world. So that's why uh, we, we agree and we are starting today now. And today's match is the star match between... Uh, acquire United and better insurance. All right, nice to hear that you are the same page with uh, the I, I mean the club owners. But now let me ask, what is the IFC bringing to the table? What is new? What are the, what are the innovations that we are expecting the leader to start today? All right, Frank, let me tell you, a lot a lot of new things. So many new things. We look at the problems. We look at our referees. Referees have been owed three years on paid emoluments. Ranging over 500 million naira on paying the movement to the referees. Okay, now we made an agreement with our corporate partners, and I, we said, okay, on the part of IMC, we don't want to keep referee money and be paying them. We want to get referees that can number, give it to you as our corporate partners. Then, at the beginning of uh, the, uh, the, the, the match, before they go on uh, to the field of play to officiate, a day before, people credit, credit their accounts. That is it. All referees will be paid a day before. Uh, going to the field to officiate. Secondly, again, we increase the referee emolument uh, by 50%. We increase the transport allowance by 40%. So what we are trying to do here is that we told the referee, we went with them, myself, the NFL president, and a lot of us had a meeting with them, that to whom much is given, much is expected. We want them again to be proactive enough and give us the best officiating so that the team that will win matches will be as a result of performance. Not because of other 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 reasons in court. All right, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Thank you. It is doable. It is not. It is not a rocket science issue. It's something that we can all do if we all cooperate. There's nothing difficult in making Nigeria League the best in Africa. It takes serious mind, a serious minds to do it. And on our part in IMC, we have characters of with impeccable uh, credentials who are ready to make it work. That was uh, Mr. Honorable Benga Elegbele Tony. You know, uh, he was uh, one time the NSC chairman. He has uh, been a club owner, like he said. You know, from what you heard of him, do you think there's, there's any hope? Quickly. Yeah, Frank, I think uh, there, is, uh, there is hope. Uh, Benga uh, Elegbele Honorable has uh, been there. He has, uh, you know, consumer experience, you know, when it comes to organization and, of course, the league. And uh, from what uh, the questions that he has answered, he has shown beyond reasonable doubt that he really wants this thing to take off. And of course, with this type of enthusiasm that we have seen from him, you know, the beginning, they say, shows the way. All right, the beginning shows the way. Of course, we hope that uh, it's going to be a different ball game this time around. It's not going to be business as uh, usual like we used to see on Nigerian League.